Here we are for the top-up show. We should be at the beach. It's a boiling, boiling day at Rose Hill. Uh, and to say the cards ordinary is being kind. Marcus. Yeah, we're down here on the uh, not next to the course proper, and the grass looks long and green. In fact, I reckon with that five mils last night, the grass would have grown another inch. Uh, because of course we've got um, an inch of grass. Well, just it's just that you know you had that water, a, and then you wake up and the, the you know yeah it's just a sweat. I made down a kudji this morning at six thirty in the water and it's boiling. So well, the water's freezing. But anyway, look, we've got a very we've got unfortunately we've got five races here with twenty seven runners. What's that all about? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a return to the bad old days of Saturday racing in Sydney. Mm. Uh, race one, not much happening here. Time to rain has neither blown nor firmed. Remains the twos on favourite. Uh, I guess Snowden holds holds a key here with the unraced Jonah. A Adkins off a double last week. Um, any clarity here from you, Glenn? Two winning hopes. One from three. Couldn't take the two to one on. Time to rain couldn't take the dollar fifty. And um, Jonah is a horse. It's got something. I didn't think the Melbourne horse had anything, and I sort of given up on the head on. I, yeah. I don't think there's much to say there. Hopefully the parade provides me with something, but um, steady start. Race two, uh, pretty much as you were. Uh, Ron Star's a little bit on the drift, but other than that, Roheron and Brazilica uh, virtually retain their positions. Um, I'm wondering whether this uh, this track, given that they've nourished it for the last six weeks, I'm wondering whether it might be a little bit hard on leaders. You know. Thick grass um, and look at uh, two two uh, two favourites here that are all style. Uh, I've got the short SPs. One's but, a filly, one's a colt. Does that make any difference? But they're coming off races where they beat nothing. Hmm. So does that drag Ron start? Gordo's who had a good feel for it, and I I did say to Gordo, you, you know, it's hard to back Winona on a Saturday. Yes, it is hard to back Winona on a Saturday. But now everyone's south. Yeah. There's no one left over. There's not a lot for her to do wrong here. It gives her a chance to bounce back and get into the winner's circle, young Winona. And we need her back. I think connections are, are dominant here, and I'm swinging around to Roe Heron, who did a bit of work in the run there the other day, I sort of, um, when I had a think about it, and uh, I'm favouring him now over the tenor. Brazilica, the, the, the local filly, uh, she's, she uh, got the job done on debut, but I think um, she did beat Walkers, and uh, she's that, got a that, step up here. They're just Walkers, aren't they? They're just awful. And, and it's getting back to row here, and you've got J-Mac off, like, tricky race, that. Race three, the highway, and both favourites are firm. Um, both 3.40 coming into uh, betting this morning. That's Chewbacca and Handle, Handle the, truth. the Truth. Yeah. Um, have you got any clarity on this race overnight? Parade for me, but still Chewbacca, still I Am Capitan, who I see also firmed, and... Um, Bit of a tail there, I thought, Marcus. Well, I nominated Handle the Truth, and uh, poor old Graham Hughes on Talking Sport has to carry me there. That could be a task for him. Race four and uh, field of five, Naval Warfare with Cath on is 5.50 into 4.60. Finished the tapes this morning. Mask of Time dead heated with Best of Days. Wouldn't yeah. Best of Days be $1.20 in this race? I suppose, yeah, you would. Like, isn't that the form? Melbourne form over over a distance. Uh, that's one of Gord's pearls as well. But is, isn't it's two weeks off? It's isn't that the form? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I thought the Lord Mayor was a little stale for mine. Uh, that was the, my take on the race. Race five, the another five horse field. This time over to twenty four hundred, and we're uh, we're facing up to Rakeek being thirteen to eight or two dollars sixty. Wow. We're just like. Wow. Again, another five horse race. Terribly unappealing. We watch these horses go around. I think these races are just on day as a side view to watch in between Melbourne. It's like, you, you know how Rose Hill used to have a picnic race meeting for Melbourne Cup Day? Yeah. That's what it's like. It's just disgraceful. Social element for me there, Mark, 2400. Rachel King to Hippo. That, that'll do me. And Lee, that'll do me. But Grant Rakeek's got a good chance. If you can take $2.60 Rakeek and you're a winning punter, you're a better man than me. Race six Which and uh, not hard to be a better man <laughs> Murahib, the, the shipper, is into four dollars twenty and Sostanito, who's trained by Brian Gentle, is into fourteen dollars. It's a crappy race this one. We've got Sostanito, a... it wouldn't win a Katoomba, would it? No. No, it is a bit of a steady affair. Schubert remains the favourite. And I must say that I marked both favourites longer here. Yeah, I think you did I yeah. I'm warming the one you mentioned on the show number six, Chalmers. 
That was 536. I guess the parade will be, be key there. Big, big, big 536, and I want to have a good look at eight. I mentioned on the show that I think it's the best horse in the race. But, but it is Paul Cave. Does a good job, Paul Cave. Well, he doesn't train a lot of winners, Mark. No, but he doesn't train a lot of horses. But does that mean, how do you do a good job then? Get a lot of horses, I suppose. If you don't give him any horses, you're not I, a good I think, job. you know, he's competitive in the metropolitan area, which is something that you really wouldn't expect from a trainer that looks more 1980s than 2010s. Yeah, he doesn't look at him. He looks about as modern as me. Uh, the mayor's the cutabout. This is uh, Dawn Dawn is into $2.60. News fan uh, is on the blow. Um, well, what a disgraceful race this is. Like, come on, this is a leg of the pig six, it's a leg of the quaddy. It's just revolting looking at this race. It is, it is. Gord, Unless you're an owner. Gord very keen on Dawn Dawn. Um, I must say, I was tempted to lay news fan, but uh, there's nothing in the race now. Well, if you're going to lay news fan, you might as well just back Dawn Dawn. Yeah, exactly. Leave me out of the race. The penultimate and. Uh, the second last. <laughs> Strangely, the favourite's on the blow here with the scratching of all the other bits of speed. Um, the favourite was $2.60 with Tab yesterday afternoon. It's now, and there's a 13 cent deduction, and it's now $2.45 with sports betting. So, that, that, that's a massive on the blow with the second favourite out. $2.60, you would expect this to be $2.10, $2.05. Yeah. It's $2.45. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Drakenfell's a firmer, and Maximus, best back, $7 into five. It's only got a parade three quarters right, Cradle Mountain, to win the race. Gord's Monty for the day. We love Gordon. And the last, pretty much as you were, a fierce impact is, is pretty firm. $4 into three sixty dollars uh, is now tipped out Mahangalura's favourite. Manhattan Miss remains hard in the betting with Don't Give a Damn. Seven from eight, looks two winning hopes to me. For big jackpot from the awful tab today in the pick the six, and uh, it might pay the worst dividend we've ever seen in the history of pick six. You might get back $187. Instead of 400000 like it usually pays? Well, you get a lot from us anyway. You've got $22 a week. You get, um, well, a good man, John Walters, has just sent his Flemington set through. He's put a lot of effort into that. And Goldies have just received that. They get that every Saturday. Every city, Sydney City meeting, you get a gold set from me and a Mounting Yard Mail. How do you breathe without it? From me. And uh, top that off with three videos. Three shows. For members only, uh, along with the top-up show. And you get to watch Gord, who only mentions about 12 horses a week, and 11 of them usually win. And it's, Flying uh, gourd. It, yeah, it's uh, $22 a week. First two weeks are always free and we'll be back on Monday with The Rant and a Melbourne Cup preview and a preview for Randwick. And I think so, the most important thing, Mark, is you become part of our community and our community, there are WhatsApps and dinger rings. Sharing and, around. So like, Liam, know, Liam good man. They're always tipping to each other and looking after each other and trying to work out ways to win in this tough, tough game. And if you're interested in the uh, the state of the fantasy stable uh, concept, Hearts Racing is uh, and is uh, giving out some some uh, racing rant subscriptions in return for the the fantasy stable that they're running with Australian Bloodstock. So check out HeartsRacing.com. Basically, you have to nominate which of the Australian Bloodstock runners will earn the most prize money over a specified period of time. There's tons of prizes. As I say, there's ra racing rant subs in there as well. So go to HeartsRacing.com if you uh, if you want to have a look at that. And speaking of community, Glenn, I just uh, I was listening to a podcast on the way out here about poker, which I know is uh, is one of your babies. But uh, that the idea about community and sharing, Liam, a good man, uh, sent through that uh, link for a podcast, which I'll talk about on the rant on Monday. But that's the whole idea that we're we're actually sharing information, and uh, and uh, uh, the community is um, it, that's the best way it works. Thanks for joining us here on the Top Up Show, and we'll see you on the rant on Monday if you're with us.